the way the world is changing daily makes me see that this is not it because you have this woman she's an ex porn star now she has degrees this and that but she's a sex therapist but in the article it says despite her lack of official counseling qualifications, Bentley is a veteran sex worker of 15 years. She is not it. So you're telling me that this woman saves marriages by sleeping with them, with the husband or wife because in the article it says I'm a sex therapist she says I sleep with clients to save marriages I'm gonna tell you how that's wrong because no sex therapist actually needs to sleep with the client to save marriages and first of all how is a sex therapist an actual job? Because the sex therapist Olivia Bentley takes a hands-on approach with her clients by sleeping with them. Like, if people want to have prosperous marriages, Communication is number one. Learning your partner, number two. Learning them every day. The same way people go to a job and learn the job is the same way you should be with your significant other. And this lady said, I've saved marriages. This is what the lady said. From Boyce, Idaho, native, told Kennedy News, calling her work life-changing. She said, I get physically involved with the majority of the people I see. I think that's a part of the appeal. That's part of the appeal. The only reason that people come to her is because they might, she might be one of their favorite porn stars. They're like, oh shoot, I get to have, finally do it with her? Like, that's the only reason she's making money. The only reason she's making money. Stop, don't, stop following these people. This woman makes half a million a year and she has sex with up to 10 people. Because that's what it says. It says, outside the bedroom, Bentley, who sees up to 10 clients per week. 10, look, listen. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Because a lot of a lot of diseases is getting thrown around. There's gonna be gonorrhea, chlamydia. This is disgusting. Ten look, Bentley sees ten clients per week. There's four to five weeks in a month. So ten times four weeks. That's 40 in a month times so I'm gonna do so 10 times four weeks times 52 
That's over 2,000 people she have slept with every year that she's been making money. That is nasty. That's nasty. And she says it supports her customers emotionally and gives them tips for maintaining a healthy sex life. This ain't healthy at all. I don't know who told her about healthy. That's not healthy. Sleeping with multiple people. You're just spreading diseases. You're spreading. You're you like. Do people do people not know how powerful sex actually is? Whenever you are having sex with someone, you are creating a bond with that person. You can't just go anywhere and just make random bonds with people. Because once they get attached, they get attached. Then you got to work. Then you got to deal with having to detach them. And she doesn't have the qualifications to be a sex therapist. So how is she making this money? And she doesn't have the qualifications. So majority of these marriages that she is saving is from the lack of intimacy. Because majority of this world is so focused on sex, sex, sex. Instead of getting to know the person they actually married. And that's crazy. That's crazy. And then she says, I'm kind of like the guy. Noting that she wants the women to feel very confident and comfortable. What woman in their right mind would feel comfortable with another woman sleeping with their significant other? What woman would be that dumb to like accept this? And... The majority of all these marriages in the world, they are always focused on sex, sex, sex. Not getting to know the person. Get to know the person you are going to spend the rest of your life with. So. So. So while Bentley lacks official counseling qualification, she has a master's degree in education and obtained much of her X-rated tricks while working at Nevada's Moonlight Bunny Ranch, a legal brothel. So basically, she has a master's degree in education. How, where does sex therapist lie in at? Where, where does that lie in? Then she's also a fitness competitor in her spare time and often passes along fitness advice to her clients. And then so she also says women who refuse sex after marriage are unfair to their husbands. Listen. That's, that's crazy. Comment down below how you feel about this. But... Hey, it's up in the air. It's up in the air with me.